Yeah, well, I'm, so I'm here in Amsterdam at, uh, uh, with Tristan Varsen. Hello. So, uh, Zimmerman, Zimmerman. So, uh, at the, your gorgeous office, I love it here. It's always really cool. You've got a really good record collection down here. Anyway, <laughs> so we've, um, we've been talking about how to bring to life the whole open aid movement, really. Yeah. And tell me a bit about what you're thinking. Yeah, well, we uh, started uh, one year ago uh, with the Open Aid project, and we were involved uh, as a technical uh, partner. And um, and you guys have just I mean, you've just been doing the implementation for Open U and Habitat, haven't you? Yeah, we uh, just did uh, the U and Habitat uh, Im implementation, uh, and that was uh, well uh, one week well one week ago went live. Yeah. And uh, one month ago uh, we talked with you, Mark and uh, Peter and Seem uh, about uh, telling the story uh, uh, of for Open Aid. Yeah. And, uh, and how can we uh, tell the story without making it complicated? Yeah. And this is always uh, a big trick. So um, what we uh, presented and what we, uh, well, we think we, we made a concept and uh, we came up with it's time for uh, aid transparency or it's time for open data. Yeah. And um, do you want to take me through a few of the bits and pieces? Just give me a sense of yeah. some of the ideas. Yeah. So we showed it. Well, it's a little bit of a mess now. As well. It's on the wall. So this is one of the first. It's handy against the light bulb. Yeah. Um, it's time time for aid transparency. This was one of the concepts. And they could fit, and the, the idea is they could feature all kinds of people that were working with, encountering, who were working exactly. in this space. People from, from, from the field, and it's like a testimonial uh, kind of way of t telling, uh, telling, telling, telling the story. And it's just really interesting because yesterday I was talking with Henry in London about um, how we'd like to bring some, together, say, the team, te teams of four who are working on Acro yeah. flow implementations around the world. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting to think, well, you know, they, we could feature them here as well. Absolutely. People like yeah. the UN Habitat people who've been leading that. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's that. Yeah. And then uh, the funny thing was the first thing we came up with was a quite a radical concept. And even here internally, our team well decided. Well, we were should we show them? Should we not? And then, then I well, I'm uh, fortunately I'm the creative in charge. So <laughs> I said, well, what the hell? We will just put it on our black door, yeah. and uh, I will show you around. Yeah. Now I so, love this when I saw it. So this was just a very okay. initial sketch concept, and, yeah. and the whole idea. Behind it, of course, it's time for open data, and we were looking for metaphors. Uh, how to uh, you want? Well, maybe you not want to look, uh, especially at them. But yeah, <laughs> you, you, so we're going to disguise things you might want, might want to see, might not want to see. Yeah, and we're not going to show data. Yeah, the XML files and all well, maybe boring stuff. Yeah, but we're going to show reality. Yeah, so these yeah, are yeah. just. So this is like meant to mimic like marker pens, kind of blocking things exactly. out, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the problem with this was we don't want to criminalize anybody. Yeah. So uh, well, we because we used one of these, didn't we, in last week in the um, in the um, Open Human Habitat Road to Road yeah. Open Human Habitat blog, and you had suggested a few other images as well, but they they were things where we were worried that yeah. by blocking over library images of yeah. that we had one with some like government people exactly that yeah. it implied that these people were criminals and stuff and that that's not quite right is it the way no that's not, that's, that's, that's not the way we want to go but again um thinking of a concept that 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 wakes people up sometimes needs uh, quite radical ways of communicating yeah. so it could be a way of uh, waking up those people and maybe they, uh, well, we shouldn't step on the, on the wrong feet. Yeah. Uh, but then again, like this is a more aesthetical way of uh, getting your message along. Yeah. And, um, okay, well, cool, right? We well, just think. <laughs> yeah. So. But, um, well, these are just very a few quick sketches. We want to create some T-shirts with "It's time for open data." So in the front, you've got your your black blocks. And on, on, uh, on the back of the t-shirts, we've got, uh, uh, no, we, we don't have black blocks, but we've got 
it's time for data in 22 languages. Yeah, so this is because uh, Lizzie and Catalana have been going on to me saying, Mark, we really want to have some Aqua t shirts that are yeah. really nice that we'd actually wear when we go out on a Saturday afternoon with our friends. And it's kind of part of that, isn't it? Thinking Absolutely. something that they'd like to wear. Yeah, and then we can use it at events and with, things. Well, if you really want to look cool on a Saturday night, if you go to the club, you need, of course, you need black sunglasses. <laughs> So we thought of the eclipse glasses, those paper ones. Yeah. And you've got your eclipse glasses on, it's completely black and then here, very small, it's time for open data. So, <laughs> um, and of course you need your black yep. Yep. tight pants with yep. the yep. going on. Cool, with. nice, nicely cut, <laughs> sharp black, yeah, black exactly. pants, yeah, get that. Yeah. So, okay, and then... Yeah, well, here is a conference stand. Again, a very quick sketch. Because Lizzie was saying to you yesterday, you know, these, the kind of events that we're at sometimes, they're quite yeah. staid and... Yeah, know. and that's what we are trying to, to, to break, but on a serious way. You, yeah. So you want to shake up people yeah. in, a, in, in, in these big congress buildings. And um, so we had a thought of all the ACFO people walking around through this audience with black glasses with the t-shirts on and then finally they come to your stand and there it's there are all the black blocks again and maybe there's even some stickers uh, in the toilets well i could see it wouldn't just be us as well it'd be a lot of our partners i could see some people like nick from irc really liking to go out with his cool black shades on because he's part of the uh of yeah. the open data movement. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, especially Nick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, great. And yeah. then and finally... We, well, we found a little bit of a toolkit because yeah. you're working on it already with RSR. Yeah. So we thought, well, we make a toolkit with some sunglasses, with a little business card, yeah. uh, with some stickers you can you can use and maybe like a poster. Yeah, so. great. Well, this looks really exciting. So um, looking forward to sharing it with... Uh, with the gang and getting their views. So, Tristan, thanks a lot. Thank you too, Mark. Thanks.